Hello Blazers, this is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, it's today. Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be revisiting a quite interesting topic. If you've been following my channel recently, you've probably seen that I made a video about this uh, new Russian McDonald's replacement known as Vkusna i Tochka, which in English translates to tasty, period. Yeah, and I was happy to see that all of you guys in the comments had a fun time with the name because all of you were basically saying that it's not tasty, comma, period, but uh, just tasty, periods, like uh, the periods that women have. The great name for a fast food chain, I agree. In Russian, however, people are making fun of this name in a different way. Now, instead of a vkusna i tochka, tasty period, people call it vkus achka, which literally translates to uh, the taste of an asshole. A pretty good name for a fast food chain, either way. But yeah, in my previous video on this, I've covered vkusna i tochka. To put it short, now after McDonald's left Russia officially and completely after the start of the uh, special military operation in Ukraine, the Russian business of McDonald's was bought and renamed to vkusna i tochka, tasty period and they're basically serving pretty much the exact same menu with different names in the same exact restaurants just with a different logo and a different design to everything and from what we've seen in the last video basically everybody who's actually tried the new Russian replacement McDonald's said that it pretty much tastes identical to the good old McDonald's well it's been less than a month and it seems like the Russian chain of Kusna i Tochka tasty period is already having uh, some problems including running out of french fries moldy burgers and more so uh, let's look into it let's see what all the fuss is about and see if the Russian McDonald's replacement is really doing not so well. So the first thing that happened recently that uh, sort of put a little bit uh, a chink in the armor of Kusne Tochka, a little bit uh, it wasn't great for their reputation, let's put it that way. What happened is that some lady was visiting one of the new uh, tasty period restaurants in Moscow and apparently her burger had the mold on it. Now I personally don't think it looks too terrible but I'm just gonna give a disclaimer right now if you're eating in front of the screen right now or whatever you might find these pictures not too appetizing so I gave you a warning, okay? But yeah, this is what it looks like, and uh, as far as I understand, the molds is on the bun, mainly. And uh, it also is kind of funny because it looks like <laughs> they've eaten like half the burger and only then noticed the mold in it, which is, I mean, fair. Okay, I just realized something really, really funny while I was editing this video. So the picture that I showed you guys with the mold is actually the one I was looking at as well when making the video, which I'd said, you know, was not too disgusting. And I actually got this picture from an article off of like some pro Kremlin website. But the thing is that this pro Kremlin website did not actually post the most graphic pictures which are these and in these ones yeah it does look pretty fucking bad so yeah i just thought this was funny that this you know pro russian website would not show the most terrible looking picture so yeah that's not too great but the thing is that like uh you guys understand right that i'm all for shitting on this place you know i made a whole video basically making fun of this entire idea of a russian replacement mcdonald's but to be completely fair there's a lot of issues that happen with proper fast food chains you know like you know getting rats in your kfc meal or i think there was a story when a woman had like broken glass in her salad in McDonald's or something like that in America or something I mean this stuff does happen sometimes so it is funny though and it is understandable why this right here this one photo became so viral like everybody's talking about this I was getting messages from you guys from my subscribers from like America or whatever Europe you were sending me articles from like BBC talking about how look you know this new Russian McDonald's replacement is serving moldy ass burgers to the customers and it's like basically terrible so yeah I definitely understand why people are talking about this and making fun of this because well the whole idea right is that you know we are like coming here with our own mcdonald's replacing us western shit we don't need that shit you know that's like the usual tone that they uh, portray these things in the russian media and stuff like that how russia is doing so well you know despite the sanctions and everything and we have our own good food and our own good restaurants and everything so in the context of all of that of course this place is going to be under extreme scrutiny and this is just was like russian mcdonald's who served moldy burgers nobody would be talking about this but since it's vkusna i tochka of course they are in fact i actually just found a post from like two years ago of some guy ordering and getting a moldy burger at Russian McDonald's and I'm pretty sure this did not make news headlines in Europe or America. It does seem like Tasty Period is starting to slack a little bit even in the first month of its opening. Now the Tasty Period officials actually did respond to this and they did comment on this moldy burger situation. According to them the company has already contacted the manufacturer who produces the bread and they're already investigating why there was mold on the burger. So yeah like I'm saying I think it is funny but this is not like extra extraordinary for a fast food place. However, these moldy burgers is not the only thing that uh, Tasty Period is getting uh, destroyed online right now in Russia for. Another big one that got kind of viral recently is uh, just a video apparently in which, uh, so there's like a storage of uh, buns and stuff that are going to be used in making the burgers uh, for Tasty Period. For some reason, they're stored outside. I guess they were just preparing to move it in inside of the restaurant here. And essentially, all the bread is being eaten by uh, pigeons and uh, birds on the, on the street. 
treats. Uh, let's see it. Вот сначала они едят эти булочки, а потом булочки едят все остальные. Ну да. So yeah, some guy just was like sitting in the parking lot and recorded a video of uh, birds eating buns from uh, Tasty Periods. Uh, this happened in Moscow as well, of course. Greatest city ever. <laughs> And also, the PR department of uh, Tasty Period also responded to this, saying that essentially this this was shot when uh, the products were basically just being shipped in and shipped in inside the restaurants. And they're saying that all of the bread that was on top in these shipments, uh, all of them immediately get thrown out, no matter if they have any uh, damage signs, you know? So basically, they're saying birds that eating it is fine. We always throw out that layer anyway, so you don't, you don't, don't even bother. We're just out here feeding birds, you know? We're just being good Samaritans. Which again, I mean, bro, is this really? like it is funny <laughs> once again it is funny and i guess they're just unlucky but like is this really their fault what the fuck are you gonna do about these birds man birds are vultures they're gonna eat everything that's out in the street come on so yeah moldy burgers and birds eating your buns is uh kind of a pr nightmare but it's actually not the only issue that uh tasty period is experiencing right now what's actually happening right now is that uh tasty period is uh running out of french fries and uh <laughs> Well, let's just read it. On the 8th of July, Vkusne Tochka has announced that some of the chain's restaurants are not going to have uh, french fries in the menu. They explained it saying that in 2021 in Russia, there was not enough uh, needed types of uh, potatoes that were grown. So uh, apparently for the french fries that were used in the Russian McDonald's and the french fries that they want to use in Vkusne Tochka because they want their fries to be like the old McDonald's, you need a specific type of potatoes and they just that's just not enough of them being produced in this year in Russia. And this can be seen all across the board, even with the fast food restaurants that did not leave Russia. So, for example, in KFC right now in Russia, they actually stopped selling uh, big and medium-sized fries in total. They're only selling small-sized fries, so fair enough. It's a good enough big Russian for a Soviet person. And also, the officials of Tasty Period said that, yes, we don't have enough Russian-produced potatoes of this type, but also the issue is that because of the sanctions, they cannot ship in the needed potatoes from abroad. So, yeah, it doesn't quite look like uh, Tasty Period is doing all that well, considering the fact that that you need specific potatoes for french fries, but you have to ship them in from abroad, and of course, that's not possible anymore. Also, one of the Russian officials, I'm not even gonna say his name, because who cares, he's a part of the Russian state Duma, he said that McDonald's and everybody who sold this kind of uh, french fries had to use imported potatoes, even though we have our own good Russian potatoes. We do have problems, but they're not that serious. We will have french fries, but it's not gonna be as, uh, it's not gonna be as straight and perfect. So, as far as I understand, they're saying that we're gonna have french fries, but they're gonna be made out of uh, different kinds of potatoes, so basically the taste is not gonna be the same, the texture is not gonna be the same, but you guys don't fucking care, right? You have something to fill your Soviet belly with. And also, the Tasty Period officials said that there's gonna be enough potatoes and they're gonna be uh, widely available in every single restaurant only around autumn or fall of 2022, when there's gonna be a new potato harvest coming in. I gotta say, guys, here's the thing. I sometimes get comments from people saying that, like, I shit on uh, Russia too much, and essentially and being too condescending and ironic about this how you know a lot of people come and saying you know roman come on give them credit bro they're really trying guys you just need to look into like the comments of what actual russians say and i'm like literally a fucking i'm literally being so like i'm giving <laughs> i'm giving them the biggest benefit of the doubt ever bro like just look at the top comments under this post about the french fries quote we're gonna have french fries but they're not gonna be as perfect yeah for russians it's fine we will have patties in the burger but they're not gonna be as meaty and the reply yeah it's not gonna be meat either it's gonna be so so what? Tasty period. And if you don't like it, just get the fuck out of Russia. So yeah, they're basically being ironic about how, uh, you know, the officials are saying, you know, we're gonna have potatoes, they're just not gonna be as good, as perfect. So yeah, you'll get your food, just stop fucking complaining, and if you don't like it, Come on, the world is open for you, even though it's not, but it is, go ahead. They can even grow decent potatoes. What kind of Russian replacements for medicine and uh, tech products can you even talk about? So yeah, you guys might think I'm a hater, but you just gotta go in the comments and see what people are actually saying, bro. And also, Tasty Period, Russian KFC and Russian Burger King. Uh, since there's already a shortage of uh, Coca-Cola and Pepsi and all these sodas that are owned by these companies, because they also pulled out of Russia, they are starting to replace, uh, you know, fans, uh, Coca-Cola, Sprites in fast food chains with Russian lemonades. For example, uh, Chernogolovka, which is actually a decent company. I actually do like the lemonades. I used to drink them in Russia a lot, but it's like Soviet lemonades, basically. Like the tastes are Tarhun, Baikal, Krem Soda, Dushes, you know? If you're from a post-Soviet country, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Basically, it's good shit, 
but it's not Coca-Cola fans or Sprite, you know what I mean? So yeah, bro, what can I say? Tasty Periods is under a lot of flack lately, and this is pretty much what I said in my previous video. Like, I'm sure right now, as it is, as they, when they just opened, the taste, the quality is gonna be pretty similar. But I felt like over the years, you know, the quality would slowly degrade more and more, and the quality control would be not as strict and not as good, not as perfect as in McDonald's. Because McDonald's, come on, it's the same all the time. You know, I thought things are gonna start going wrong in like a year, but it's not even been a month and it's already going south, so, uh... <laughs> I don't know guys tasty period that just says it all anyways guys yeah this is gonna be pretty much it for today's video though I hope you guys did enjoy it if you guys did then please make sure to slap the like on us as well guys if you want to support me additionally go over to the description uh, I have my crypto wallets there you can donate to me if you want to and yeah guys this is gonna be pretty much it for today's video and I will see you guys in the next one peace